Hello everyone and welcome back to This is the Police. Let's get right into it. Day 10. Roger is responsible for Freebird PD Breakdown. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in Freebird representatives. Orthodox Church may appear in Freebird. Mayor Rogers, I will bring order to the police station. Well, go break yourself. Ah, is there an upgrade to get a better car? Come on. Come on, Sans, hook me up with a better car. Something. The car's gotta go. That hardest chick, yeah. Alright. Shift B has got a lot of people, and I guess to, I guess to move some people from Shift B to Shift A. I, just, I have to. Let's, uh, let's go with this blue one. I said let's go with a blue one. Piano. Oh god. That is not a piano. Uh -huh. Please be advised, we are unhappy with the efficiency of Friedeberg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. Why? I'm, I'm efficient. I'm efficient. They're just being mean. Alright, fine. Bye bye. I don't got all the police I can have anyway, so whatever. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Lyndon Moser is today a hero, having pulled a drowning senior Wallace Green from the river. Senior's recommendation has decided to ward this outstanding officer. I don't remember doing that. Did I? I don't. I didn't do that, did I? Did I? I can't remember. The ceremony is scheduled for July 27th, and the event will be open to the press, as well as Mr. Green's family. Okay. Who wish to personally thank the police? Oh, okay. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer, so he will be able to attend the ceremony and receive his medal without complication. Alright, so Detective Moser... Nothing needs to happen. Ah, he's leading an investigation. I, I, hold up, hold up. Arson case. Spent time. Okay, so she's at her parents' house. I doubt she'll do anything. But let's go ahead and send. Da, 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 da. We'll send this guy and this guy along with the SWAT team. That should be good. Without the lead detective, there's a lower chance of success. Are you sure you want to send the cops in alone? Okay, no. Uh, why can't I? Is he not on duty or something? All right, let's close that. Arson cases. Arrest the suspects. Hold up. I'm totally confused here. Is he not on duty or something? Deputies. Hire a snitch. Employ to gather information. No, don't need any of that. Alright, statistics. I don't need that. Best detective, best officer. Yep, see, I'm glad I didn't fire all the black guys. Moser, I need you to come over. Wait, that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. However, while I'm here, I can go ahead and move you to A shift. And I gotta move some detectives to A shift. Let's see, we'll go with you. That would be good. Okay, labor market. I need another detective. Uh, woo -hoo, just in case. I love that. Uh, that that's, that's a good name. Case. Case. Alright, and we're gonna hire you for a shift. Okay, well, he's now my definite best. Bestie, best, best. Okay. Close.
close. All right, so we got that situated. Apparently, I can't arrest the chick. Sometimes your officers will arrest only one or two criminals, but when you're taking down a whole group, it's better to bring a paddy wagon. A truly professional staff can cope without the need for special transport. But most officers prefer a paddy wagon when the situation calls for it. Too bad the department doesn't have the money for one. Okay. Attempted murder. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. The nearby residents are enraged and demand justice from the driver of the van. Well, I mean, how, how do you... He, like, I mean, the kid's not dead, but what would truly be justice in reference to someone running over a kid? I mean, there's, there's, you, like, even if you shot the ice cream truck driver in the face 40 times, the kid still be ran the fuck over. So, what, there's no justice for that. Just be thankful a kid isn't dead. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. Send the best. Why can't I send the SWAT team too? Why can't I send more officers? Sam's Ranch. Ooh, what? I can just click on that to get this? Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I could just... Ooh, SWAT upgrade. Hmm. Improve equipment for SWAT team. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and do that. What's this? Ah, yeah, that's right. I totally wasn't happy about him dying. Maybe your father shouldn't have quit to become a bouncer. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Yeah, let me do that. Click here, here. And SWAT team. I mean, I doubt anything's gonna happen, so you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? Ah, uh, sure. I, it, it's it's a crime thing, so I don't I don't mind. B shift's got plenty of cops, so. All right. Oh, something went down. Okay. The situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Yeah, see, that's the problem I have with this. I wanted to send more cops from the frickin' beginning, but no, game don't allow me to. Jack, we got something going down at the courthouse. And, ah, yeah. Alright, well, you know what? Fuck the, fuck, fuck the courthouse. It, it depends on what it is, I guess. Like, if, if they're trying to assassinate someone... I'm on half the jail. Got her, yeah, see, see, I knew it. So she just got mad and burnt down a theater. She'll be out in a couple of years, I think you're fine. Chase closed, you right. Wow, Moser leveled up, he didn't even come into work today. Awesome. I don't got any cops to send there. So you're gonna have to wait a bit. Alright. Alright, we got her. Okay. And everyone made it out alive. All right, sweet. Now I can send some people here. Noise complaint. An elderly man called the police station reporting that terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. The hell is going on? The guy, what's a guy to get, what's a guy got to do to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. Okay, now it could have been like a, you know, it's a sawmill. I mean, it's a dangerous job. Someone could have cut their finger off and just been a real screamer. I mean, I've, I've cut my hand to the point you could see down inside of it. And even when the nurse took one of the medical sponges with special soap on it to clean out debris, even when she was like, ah, I still didn't. I was, like, I, was, I, was, I was just like, ow. Yeah, oh, painful. Yeah, ton, tons of pain. Tons of pain. I wasn't screaming or anything. I wasn't crying or nothing like that. So, But, you know, some people... Like, I saw a guy get his whole finger crushed. Whole tip of his middle finger just <laughs> caught in a, in a press. Gone. Crushed off. Like, like oh, it looked like it was cut off. But you know how, like, the, the bottom of a toothpaste tube is? That's what his finger looked like. Nothing. 
he was just like, yep. Yep, that happened. He was probably in shock, but still, some people, they just, they feel pain greater than others. So it's probably, he just got his finger cut off, that's all. Mr. Bullet, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road. So, your patrolmen will never need to look twice at cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about problems in your. De I've heard about the problems your department faces, particularly your obsolete fleet of police vehicles. So, in return, I will be happy to donate if I do. Hell yeah! Well, we were just talking about that. Let, let me get some guys up here. They're probably learn a police pattern so they can break the law later. But you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. You want to help the police department out? We'll we'll, we'll overlook some I things later on. Right. I gotta go ahead and do this. Bam, bam, bam. Go. Robbery at a drugstore. An emergency call was received from an all-night drugstore. An addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He finally threatens a female pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinets. Okay. Yeah, because I don't really have my officers in order. Uh, the sawmill is surrounded by a nine-foot fence, and the gates are locked from inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Uh, ram the gate with a... Nah, let's just break in. The man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. The man, not the young boy? How do we know he's threatening him? How do you know it's not just an accident? Ropes can accidentally tie someone down. Like in, and, and, and a conveyor belt could accidentally turn on and start moving toward It's possible. I'm just saying. Keep an open mind. Alright, take aim at the criminal and shoot to kill. Raise your gun at the man and order him release the boy. Yeah, that sounds... That's a, that, that's a way more... Son of a bitch. That's the first one I failed. But, we got him. The, the, the young man is totally fine. That's the important part. You know, catching the criminal isn't always the important part. Sometimes it's all about protecting the innocent. We don't always have to apprehend the criminal. He can get away sometimes, as long as the civilians remain Four protected. That's what it's about. Homicide at the courthouse. This bullcrap. <sighs> During sentencing, a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez, I think, seats the gun from the holster of the court bailiff, and that's a weird word, bailiff, by the way, and after shooting several witnesses, barricaded himself inside the courtroom. A young stereographer, sten stenographer, has been taken hostage. Ah, yeah, fuck. Okay, A, I don't have enough, I don't have enough officers to send. I mean, this is a very serious situation going down in the courthouse and I don't have my SWAT team and I want coffee and you know I want it now. So this is just a bad situation all around. I mean without my coffee I'm practically useless in this situation. I got some time. I'm just gonna wait for my, my two top people to get back. They should be back in time. Let's go ahead and check this out. Alright, Chief, the ride along, basics, empty headed drivers, we're done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Sam's dropped off a brand new paddy wagon. Here's a nice piece of equipment. It's a nice piece of equipment. Too good for the idiots. We will be packing inside. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Got the paddy wagon. Right, let's go ahead and check this. Got him. All good. No one else harmed. Awesome. 412A in progress. Alright, hold on. Let me check this out. An assault in a residential area. I, I don't have a SWAT team. I don't know how I'm going to do that without a SWAT team. 
I, just, I don't see it working out. I see people dying. <sighs> Sans specifically asked me to ignore a crime at the courthouse. That coupled with the fact that I don't got the SWAT team, nor do I have enough officers. I mean, I got five out of six. But that's, I feel as if though if I send these guys in, they're going to get killed. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore it. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. Yep, it was what Christopher wanted. Damn it. Okay, well, that's taken care of. Yeah, of course he did. And of course he did. I got nothing to say on that. I did what I had to. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Play the game yourself, then judge me. We've got a situation here. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside, and intelligible screams can be heard from within. Could be the TV. And climb oh enter an adjoining apartment and climb over the balcony. That sounds like a good idea. Knock on the door, break down the door. Hmm. Let's do this. Yep, that's about right. Is that it? Is that gas and a match? Dude. Okay. The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him, waving a syringe full of an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. Yeah, that's even worse. Well, I mean, I guess it's not worse when you consider that fire would kind of burn down the whole building, kill a bunch of other people, so... But still, like, for the single victim, uh, kind of bleach injected into you. Sounds horrible. Point the gun at the man and order him to lie face down on the floor. That didn't work last time. Drop the syringe now! Get down the grill! <sighs> Sir, we're on your side. Tell us about this conspiracy. Just because he got a, a triangle shaped hat on doesn't mean it's a conspiracy, dearest. But reason with him. Yeah, sure. The man jumps up and grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down here. All the evidence you need. They created these medications to control our minds. Well, of course they did. That's what medications are for! Quit ranting and release the doctor immediately. Strike the man with the nightstick. Well, the Freebird police will begin an investigation right away. Let's talk at the station. Sounds good. <laughs> Reasoning and logic, bitches! Alrighty. Okay. Shift B. Okay, shift A. Shift B. Alright, so you're moving to shift A. And that'll give us 7 and 7. Okay, good, 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 good. And we have 4 and 3. So I gotta hire another detective if I can, but I think I can only have 7 detectives. No, no. She's moving to shift A. Okay, so we evened them up. Good, good, good. The numbers aren't exactly even, but that's fine. People will level up as they go. Small drug dealers invade Freebird. All City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. Corrupt City Hall, man. Freebird to host semifinals, semi about to say finales, of Youth Hockey League. That City Hall is wasting their freaking time and money, I swear. I can't even afford a new car! Yes, I'm going to mention it every time. It's a crappy car. You should not have to start your car three times every damn time you start your car. <clears throat> While I was taking out the trash last night, I accidentally got into some poison ivy. This morning I noticed my feet were blisters, blistered. It doesn't look like anything serious, but I'd like to see a doctor just in case. Can I take it down? Can I see the blisters? Oh, I mean, obviously... She wouldn't have a story like that unless she actually had something on her feet. So, you know what? Yes. Yes. Sure. 
All right, everyone else is good. And let's go back to that one. Uh, too bad there's not like an autoplay because like once the thing runs out, you have to restart it. Which I guess is realistic, but not really. It's a video game. Please be advised that we run out. Fuck yourself. Oh, don't fuck yourself. When in doubt, go with the least level. Ugh. Okay, so I gotta start appeasing City Hall. Yeah, of course it was. Uh huh. Send your staff to train. Can I send. Yeah, I can only do the current. I don't have enough for that. I have to start asking them to work over so they can go to training. Okay, trespassing on a farm. Bill Buckle reports that two unidentified men snuck into his farm and set fire to the barn. Well, they're assholes. As the call came in, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house. Get, get over there. Get, get over there. You know what? Mm. I'm gonna send her. Him. That guy is probably gonna get his house burned down. I sent some officers, they're flying. They got the lights on. They got the lights on top of their car that makes them go really fast. You know what? There should be a, like a sensor in the car to where if the sensor doesn't detect that the light, the siren is on, at least the lights or the sound either or, that the car itself can't go past a certain speed. Look into that. Put that on Facebook and Twitter and all that, and tell them that's how police cars should be. Because I've seen a lot of police break the laws. Like, a lot. Like, a whole lot. Like, all the time. There are no signs of criminals near the house. The front door has been broken down, and shadows lurk inside. Oh, by the way, just because I see them breaking the law all the time doesn't mean the bad cops are anything. I was just saying, I've seen a lot of cops break simple traffic laws. You know, I mean, yeah, they're expert drivers and all that, but still, it's like, come on. We're not allowed to do it, why are you? Hmm. Front door's been broken down, shadows inside. Okay, uh... Come out with your hands up! Damn! That worked? I thought I was gonna go to something else. Okay. Sweet. Thief at everyday moment. A drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. Robbins, get down there. Robbins can handle it, he's a good cop. Oh great, this guy yeah. Jack, one of your new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room. One of our new guys. Ugh, oh, I thought that said your new guys. The text is very small, my bad. But he's threatening to hand the whole investigation over to the police. I think it's time he talks to the police officer face to face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll send the girl. She'll be more aggressive. What? Robins, what? Robins? We talked about this, man. You can't be so nice to thieves, man. You gotta get in there and be like, grr, 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 grr. You stole it, didn't ya? You stole it. I meant that you stole it. And then he doesn't run away like that. Jack, we've got something going down at city center. We want, want, we wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think a thousand dollars should be in a, 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 This really depends. On what it is. Thousand dollars is not a lot. Assault with a deadly weapon in a parking lot. A woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark skinned valet, striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. 
She believes she saw a pistol sticking out of his belt. Okay, well, people see weird shit sometimes. All right, Robbins. Stavall is gonna show you how how it's done. Okay, Stavall, take care of this. Yes, I sent the two black cops. That's like my whole point. But it makes sense to me. You don't like it? Play the game yourself. Okay, we'll send some back up. That should be sufficient. 410A in progress. What's that? Yeah, that's attempted murder. Ah, oh, come on. A man in an expensive suit is lying in the street, it seems. Yeah, you know what? I, I can't. I can't. I... Not for a thousand dollars. I got principles. Back up the song. Wait, don't worry, guys. A da 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 He's, fi he's firing position could not be determined, but the shots are clearly coming from one of the skyscrapers. Don't carefully observe the area. Get the frick out of the way. Just dive to the nearest cover. Rest the skyscraper to the left. Well, these aren't good decisions. Rush to the right. When in doubt, go to the right. I mean, I'm glad it worked, but seriously, running to the right worked. Nine ten eight in progress. Yeah, of course you are, but thousand dollars wasn't enough. You haven't caused me any trouble yet. All right, and we got us doing good. Today's productive. Other than Robin's letting that thief go, I don't got any cops. We'll we'll come to that in a soccer when my men make a dock. I got, got you. I got you. Calm down. Attempted robbery. Eight-year-old Kevin is at home alone under... <laughs> hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment. Okay. Scary situation, no doubt. But, I mean, come on. That's, that's funny. Okay, uh, you and you take care. Wow, they're getting there fast. Oh, I'm hungry. I gotta go eat. Alright, looks like they made it. Alright. Uh, All right, send everyone. Send, send. No, no, no. Not, not you. Just you two. Go. I got a paddy wagon. It's pretty much like a SWAT name, right? Where we put the dead guys after we kill them. I said kill, not murder. Alright, let's see. And got him! Boom, bam! Level up. Alrighty, righty, righty. Uh, shift B should be do Yeah, shift B is top notch. Top, top notch. But, we're gonna have you. Hey, right, I want you to move over to Asia. Yeah. I was just, like, I had it all balanced out, and then bam, people getting fired. I lost two. Right? Yeah, I think I lost two off of A shift. Freaking ridiculous. This game likes to throw some curveballs at you. That's the beauty of it. We got a movie scene. I was In my new role it, as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. 
couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing, but my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's gotta be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've gotta respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. I like this guy. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, oh, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's yeah. been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, He'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. No, oh, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around, but I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This own. city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. He just lost like 40 cool points. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. I got no problem with getting stoned. It was just the way he said If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. All right. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I uh, I like the Vega guy there. He's a uh, he sounds like an interesting character, and this game's full of interesting characters. So can't wait for the next episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and you will see me in the next video. Bye.